you guys, it's Chevy Sergeant here, and I'm going to bring you another video today. Uh, today we're going to be doing the Transgo Shift Kit. So I'm not going to be doing like the full kit where you drop the valve body and all that good stuff, because it comes with more components than what I'm going to be putting in. Uh, for today we're going to be focused on the accumulator and changing the springs. Uh, this, this stiffens up the shift points a little bit. Helps correct that uh, kind of slippage you get going in the gears or that delayed shift. Sometimes there's even a code that's set for it. This car isn't throwing a code yet, but it is having delayed shift. It's a higher mileage engine already. It's already at the engine trans. It's already 132,000. So with being a V8, it's, uh, these transmissions are notorious for getting pretty beat up anyway. And so I'm trying to give this transmission its, its best life. So uh, best chances at life. So I've already done the trans cooler. I didn't really post a video on how to do that because I was kind of just winging that. So but that's in there. Trans cooler's done. Next on the agenda is the ship kit, and then after this, we can look at getting James Brewer uh, to tune it. So, that being said, we'll go ahead and pin you in the video. We're going to start from the top. I've never done a ship kit in one of these, so bear with me. We're going to be kind of learning together here. So, first things first, you're going to set the e-brake. Uh, just for safety precautions, always a good idea. brake set. We're going to be jacking up the front of the car. We don't want a chance of the vehicle rolling backwards or anything like that. So I'm going to grab my jack thing over here. I was going to use some ramps, but the uh, the car is just a little too low for the ramps I have, so I'm just going to go ahead and jack it up. Throw some jack stands under it. I got some heavy duty ones over there. these these are pretty nice they're uh so instead of having the ratcheting mechanism you actually got a huge steel pin that kind of goes through keeps them up and these are actually rated for seven tons so i think these are uh these are my go-to choice especially when we be underneath the car I prefer not to be crushed so no uh no harbor freight jack stands here well, I do have them, but I'm not going to be using them. We got a little jack stand, so we'll go ahead and bring you underneath the car now show you what's going on under here first thing you're going to want to do is put the correct socket on now let me remind you though this this is to be taken lightly I'm not I'm not a professional mechanic I'm a hobbyist so bear with me all the stuff I'm doing here is kind of like Also, I'm about to show you, you should be used as like reference only, not taking to heart. You know, don't seek professional advice from me, I'm just a guy. But, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all these pan bolts loose first and try not to dump transmission fluid on my head. I'm gonna crack them loose, and I'm probably gonna take this side more loose. Because uh, I'm going to want the fluid probably to come out this side because that's kind of how the car's leaning. I'm just taking these loose first. So first step, remove the transmission pan. Here it comes. Alright, coming out that corner. 
Nice. I tried to start with a kind of clean drain pan, so I wiped it out so I can get an idea of what this fluid looks like. Definitely smells a little burnt. So we'll see, we'll get a better idea of what's going on when we when we open up the pan here, how much shavings are in there. I've got majority of the transmission pan bolts out. I've got two left, got most of the fluid drained. Um, kind of lose my bolts in the gravel here. Anyway, I got uh, most of the fluid drained. I gotta take those last two bolts out, drop the pan, then we'll look at the uh, filter and whatnot. Okay. Nice, okay. I sure I didn't lose any there. So we'll get these last two bolts out. Drop this pan the rest of the way down. Oops. Okay. Pan is down. And the good news is I'm not seeing a lot of debris. Debris. Oh. So that's good. There is a lot of clutch material on that magnet. Um, don't know what's a healthy amount. We'll get a better view of that after we get a little further here. We'll have to clean that pan out real nice. Okay, so our target here is this bad boy. I believe they call this an accumulator. There's springs in here. But first, to change them, we got to get this out of the transmission. So here's your uh, filter too. We'll go ahead, and, go ahead and take this filter off. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Splashed myself a little bit. It's pretty dirty. It's definitely clutch material. This transmission's definitely got some miles on it. But it's not shifting too bad yet it's just got an intermittent little slip bang type of deal all right get this out of my face so we got to pop this bad boy out i did watch a video but let's see so what understand from what i understand couple that fasten it to the trans there's some that you have to use to split it apart so are these the same size no these are gonna be smaller okay Ugh. five sixteenths is what I'm gonna use for these he said break all of them loose why it's in the car because he said it'll make it Easier. Did I break this one? I think I did. So we're gonna have to split this thing in two once we get it out of the car. Okay. 
I don't remember which ones are tying it to the car, but. I think these lines are supposed to just kind of pop out. Bleed now. Okay, there we go. Those are out. Dump this thing. Nice. Now we can move on. All right, so we're done under here for now. Let's get out from underneath this mess. Get this thing on a bench. All right. Back here on our state-of-the-art workbench. This is what we need. Trans go, ship kit deal, thingamajig. It's like $45 on eBay. Okay. Or you can get it from uh, Triple Edge Performance as a complete kit. Uh, however, Triple Edge Performance right now, when I checked, they weren't selling anything due to supply shortages or something. Comes with this. Not going to be using today. This is a whole other deal. Um, highly recommend if you know what you're doing, use that. Again, not using this today. And these are what we're going to need. And something else we're not going to be using today. Something no reverse when cold seal. Okay, that's what they're saying on that paper. Let me open this up. All these springs are kind of, they're color coded. They all have a purpose. And there's some spacers in here. So we got a couple of red springs. Got a couple of these big boys. We got this yellow one couple white ones got two of these longer spacers and then we got a shorter spacer all right so we need to split this apart I'm probably gonna need my brake clean I got already loosened these so once you take one two three four five well actually this one didn't even need it so really it was I don't know. I took all the outside bolts off, is what I'm going to say. Took all the outside bolts off, and then it, it broke loose for me from the transmission. Now I got to take these loose, which I already kind of did that. We got to split this into two sections. We'll get out the instructions here in a second. This is not the, uh, not, in the t not a table from Ikea. You can't just eyeball it put it together you just kind of you actually have to read the directions now you should probably pay attention to which ones are coming from where but i think they're all the same so i'm gonna go ahead and send it we'll get it back together one way or another all right nice let it read out don't ruin the instructions please okay Gasket, some dirt on it. We'll have to clean that off. 
Okay. So these are what we're after. Let me just kind of move all this stuff over here. Where it's not leaking out to. Let me keep track of what's what here. All right, so this one, they say on them, so this is one to two, and this one says two to three. So a lot of fluid in there. So what we need is, I need my towels that I need. Oh, here's one. Okay. We need our instructions. Let me see if I can find a dry surface to move this to. Let's elevate this above the wetness. Just kind of rest that out on the table. Okay. All right. So, one to two. Did not mean to do that. Yeah, I think let the table have that. Okay. One to two, two to three. Let's see what our directions say. Go from there. So, we need this picture. Go ahead and screenshot that if you'd like. Probably shouldn't have to if you're getting a kit. So, second, third. If you're looking at the cover, this is the base. So, like we said, one to two, two to three. So we're going to pull this one out. We're going to pull the factory weak spring out. This is the new one. If you're pretty thick, you just kind of side by side there. This is the new main spring that's going in versus the crappy, pathetic factory spring. That's, that's a massive... It's a massive difference, if you can tell. So that's, I can squish that by hand. This one's kind of, this one's pretty rigid. And then we're going to add more than just one in this cup. This is just one of the springs I'm pulling out. So we'll set the original stuff over here. So this, we need a plain spring. We're going to need a white spring. You want to keep this one up here. And then, uh, let me dump the rest of this on the table. Or something up in there another new towel um, anyway so the assembly goes as such you got for this side for the second you got it says a long spacer so if you put this together you're gonna have a long spacer a plain spring not the dirt that in there firmly and then a white spring that assembly is going to go back in there like such something like that okay so they're not in pieces We're going to clean this stuff up though before we get too far in it. There's that side. I just got to stuff. Okay, so this side, we're going to put a medium spacer up here. Then we're going to put long spacer, plain spring. 
and then a red and a white. So it's going to look just like that. Okay. Let's set that aside. Okay, now I'm going to get something to clean this up. That kind of soap. Okay, I'm back with some brake cleaner and some more towels. If I could stop dropping stuff, that'd be great. probably add some fresh transmission fluid in here to try to promote smoothness I don't know those bores look really really good though so I don't think I'm really gonna scuff them up they look they look phenomenal in there so I'm not I'm not gonna do anything with that I don't want to risk it okay so that clean. Go ahead and clean this assembly up. Check this assembly up. Check. Aesthetic springs, check. Okay, I still have some dirt on it. Check. I'll probably lube these up and clean this part here. And that last but not least is this. There's some like metal looking shaving stuff looking like stuff in here. I'm wipe that out. Clutch material. Something. Okay. Looking dandy. All right. These two, I believe, are for the other things that come in the kit. Um, this, this yellow and this red one that's left over. So, if you look. Yeah, so, right here. Fourth accumulator. Sorry, fourth accumulator, yellow, red. That's what, that's what these are for. We're not going to be putting those in today. So, my video is not going to cover that. I'm just covering this aspect. So, the cover, blah, blah, accumulator. That whole thing of jig is what we took out. This is what we're putting in. So that's what I'm going to be covering today. So 
So I'm going to go grab some fresh transmission fluid and we'll leave these seals up before I drop them back down in and we'll start reassembling. Valvoline Dextron 6. Something like that. Cheapest one Walmart had. That wasn't universal stuff. All right. I'm going to just put some... Whoops. Don't do that. I need you. Come back. Crucial to my transmission survival. If I can not get hairs and everything else on it, that would be great. Okay. Let's try that again. So, a little bit of transmission fluid. Kind of lube her up. Got our, all of our spacers and everything. make sure this isn't like falling out okay medium spacer nice that's in same deal with the other side Double check everything. Big spring, light spring. Okay. Medium spacer. Oh. Doesn't want the spacer to like fall off when I'm Let's put this back together. Okay, gasket. Kind of going in like a star pattern as best I can, but anyway. So that's together now. I'll we'll set that back over here. I'll go grab the transmission pan. We'll go check out the damage in it. See if there's any shavings and whatnot. I'll be right back. Okay, here's our pan. Got some more crumbs in it. All right, all of our screws. Let's set these on the side. We're going to be cleaned up too. Spray this real quick. All right. So spray some of it out. Kind of left a magnet right here. Let me see, I'll get you in a little closer. So here's the magnet. There's definitely some some clutch material in there. I don't know 
what's excessive. But it's definitely there. Just wipe that off. Spray it out again. I mean, it doesn't seem really excessive. Like I've had burnt transmissions before. I had a ton of clutch material. I don't know. I've never opened a transmission that wasn't blown up and like let me put it this way i've never done a transmission fluid change on a car that i hadn't already had problems or didn't have a fresh transmission in it. so like my truck has a brand new transmission and it's not even hit the threshold yet where i've had a change of transmission fluid so and i haven't had a car long enough that didn't eat a transmission that I had to just do a regular change on, so. What I'm trying to say is, I don't know exactly what is a healthy amount of clutch material. I know they're all, it's all gonna have a little bit. I don't know where you draw the line of excessive or not excessive, I guess. But, gotta clean this up really good. Looks pretty clean. We'll go ahead and uh, go back over to the car and start reassembling it.